fine. I've just bought a new rig. So, so this, this one's it. even more advanced. I'm seeing lots of laser cuts. So this is yeah, this is like one of those bang up to date on trend, on mm. trend bit of pl plate carrier fashion. This is a direct action Spitfire film. Looks very nice. It is very nice, and it's so it's la it's laser cut from a laminate fabric. Mm -hmm. Still, still lots of stitching reinforced, so it almost removes one layer of fabric because it yeah. doesn't have all the power loop, power loops on it. Um, and there's actually not much to it really. No, it it's looks really, really, thin. really quite thin. Um, and this nice soft shell material it's behind the plate bags. Biggest thing that's good. And it's nice. And, is that on the plate? The padding? Or yeah, it's, like, it's on the back of the plate. So there's no actual padding on it. So it's really quite minimalist. Yeah. Um, integrated, integrated, nice integrated carry handles. That's nice. So obviously this is all set up with my kit. Yeah, the salter back panel. Yeah. So let's so, so, so quite a lot of similarities. Talk us through yours then. Yeah. So quite a lot of similarities to yours. I've got a triple, triple up front. These are S track pouches. Oh, they've got some sort of plastic retention. Yeah, in little there. Kydex, yeah. Kydex plastic retention in there. So they're, I love these. They're absolutely brilliant. Um, PTT. This is a TPTT. Similar thing. I also also run a vest antenna system mm. like yours. So this runs all around the back. I've got a Blue Force gear, uh, ten speed. Yeah. Just mags. Is that um, how's that mounted on? So it's got the laser cut. Yeah. So I mean that is really thin. Yeah. Even with the whole. So that's pouch. A cummer, a cummerbund with a with a Blue Force gear ten speed pouch on, and that yeah. is just super super thin. Yeah. And that that mags or smokes or flashbangs or anything really to shove in there any sort of mission specific stuff yeah uh, i've got my radios on a this is a direct action comms wing mm -hmm. so that attaches into the rest of the plate yep. bag how do you find it wearing with your radio sort of pressed on got used into to it you? now because it's right just blow your rib cage, it's all, yeah it? it's all right because it i'll show phil and i'll show you i'll show you guys a picture later but it pretty much sits in the shadow crate by the yeah. plate by the plate so i've kind yeah. of got used to it now um Cummerbund's really lightweight. Again, it's got you can it's got you silly, can put, you can put extra armor in it, or you can shove your just take some you know handy snacks. <laughs> as long as it's not chocolate, otherwise you'd be drinking <laughs> that. I think. Uh, really. Being held so close. You've got that's a nice touch. Got a nice, little, nice little admin pouch up there. Admin pouch built in, rather yeah. than having to have extra. Bulk. Uh, you've got the swift clips. Mm, so this so will actually this if you undo the shoulder straps, then these are designed so that you can just. You know, you remove this, yep. have the front completely f free of anything, and then you can just clip this on, and it has a big uh, Velcro Top panel yep. on the back, so you just slap it on, and yep. you're good to go. So this, uh, what I've got on the other side, I've got the direct action medical pouch, because you need medicals for airsoft. Exactly. Yeah, full, full, trauma, full trauma kit. A Viper dangler, they call it a scrote, but it's pretty much the same thing. I think they all much of a much. And I use it. I use it for the same thing you do, Phil, just putting putting bangers and reloads yeah. and, and stuff. Also, in it helps that really painful bit of the belly yeah. where it's you get shot on. Um, on the back, so again, you've got nice, very similar plate bag, laser cut, integrated drag handle. Mm. Uh, I've got a Ferro Concepts uh, assault as panel. So the back of this is basically just entirely the same as the front, laser yeah. cut, laminate all the way down. Um, and this again, this is this is for buddy. Mm. Buddy bangers or whatever, or extra mags, yeah, and, and some stuff there. Um, and you got a pouch on the side as well. Yeah, so that's the med pouch. Yeah. And then in, I, do, I have to say, I do like the little laser cut handles. So, yeah, so you just, you just, you just have, have a little. Uh, oh, yes, yeah, so you can. So you just take it out, pull it straight out, and you're good to go. Yeah, yeah. so that's really quite nice. And but you, I mean, you, that could just be an admin. You don't have to be a medic pouch. Yeah. You can have all sorts of, you know, general, general batteries and admin Chocolate, and pens, opal and fruits, chocolate fruit, you know, snacks. So in here, so that's nice. Now this. I'm at the DCS. This whole placard comes off. Yeah. So it mounts, and I'll show you guys this as well. They come little bits of Velcro come through, and actually okay. Velcro's into the plate bag, yep. inside the plate bag, and you can get the DA cell. Different. You can get blank placards. You can mm. get uh, AR placards. You can get SMG placards. Yeah. So you can pretty much. If you want, if you need to change your loadout, you just switch out your placard. Yeah, and you're not constantly messing around with molly loops taking, and trying to thread taking things these through. things off is an absolute pain. Yeah. So, um, and it's pretty easy to get into it. Cost-wise, how does it stack up? I mean, the MicroFi, this setup as it stands, is well over, uh, probably getting close to nearly three hundred pounds. Yeah. Well, the rig, um, this the rig, DCS, I think, was about the same. This rig, uh, the rig was two hundred twenty-five, um, which for what it is, because actually it's features-wise, it's probably mm -hmm. got more. Oh, actually, it's also, it's also got. Uh, it can take zip panels as well. I was going to ask about that on because I know a lot the the cry on the crowd pri on, the pri the on the cry system. So this is built yeah. the same spec as the cry system, but it's yeah. got to, it can take all the, the back zip panels as well. Yeah. So this it's pretty much as fully featured, if not more fully featured, than a cry JPC two. 
I think you're right. And uh, another one that's new to the market is the uh, Ferro Concept Slickster Advanced, yep. which I think has been sold exclusively by one company. And that's, you know, the base model is around $300. Yeah, yeah. so this is, I think, I think actually for the money... So this direct, it's got all the features, you know, the laser cut, and then of course there's the new Warrior LPC, which yep. is... That's got the tubes on it. Yeah. Um, I quite like that tube system, but... Well, they, you, DA are you, doing... Um, you don't have the adjustment. They're doing a tube cummerbund yeah. upgrade. So you, you Velcro on one half, and then the other, then you get a new cummerbund, you can just yeah. clip in. So I, I may get around to getting on yeah. that. That looks quite... So I, can, so I can be super fashionable and have tubes like all the other kids <laughs> as well. It's really... It gets ridiculous. Um, but I really... I, I think the, for, what, for the features you get on this... It's a really nice little carrier. I think they're really nice. It fits really nicely. 